Africa startup funding in 2022 broke records in terms of funding raised, number of deals, and the number of investors, according to data from Africa, the big deal uh, has shown. That's literally their name. Total amount of funding recorded by African startups amounted to $4.84 billion in 2022, a 7.62% increase from the $4.6 billion recorded in 2021, which eventually might exceed $5 billion uh, going further. Uh, we head to South Africa. We are joined by uh, Luke Mostert and uh, Carl Nchite. Uh, they're co-founders of Young uh, Catalysts uh, Africa. Thank you guys uh, for joining us. Luke is on our left. Carl's on our right. Uh, gentlemen, you're welcome. Luke, let me start with you. What do you make of the climb in venture capital funding for African startups uh, for last year? The increase. Well, firstly, thanks, uh, Rotus, for having us um, on the show today. Good to be back. Um, yeah, it was it was super exciting and I guess unexpected last year to see Africa be the only um, continent in the world that uh, had an increase in, in funding despite the you know terrible macroeconomic climate that um, we all uh, had to to live through. So yeah, I think it's it's a testament to to just how you know powerful and exciting the the African venture capital landscape is, and and is going to continue to be, in my opinion, over the next couple of years. Uh, Carl, let me come to you. Talk to us about Young African Catalysts, uh, the company you and Luke co-founded. We understand you exited your pilot program a year earlier than planned. Is that a testament to the appetite for African funds in the VC ecosystem? Thank you so much. Um, yes, so Young African Catalysts, we like to call ourselves YAC. Um, we are a tech-enabled ecosystem that you know leverages community, leverages data um, to help enable and upskill um, Africans on the, the continent that want to enter the venture ecosystem. Um, so with regards to your question on why we, we, we exited our pilot phase, our phase one phase earlier, there's a, there's a big demand um, on, on both sides. So on the venture capital side to, to have new upskilled talent that understands the venture ecosystem and on the talent side, to, to understand how to break into the venture ecosystem, whether it be into the startup ecosystem or into the VC uh, market. Great stuff. Uh, Luke, let me come back to you. What's your, th I guess, for Young Africa Catalyst, what's your threshold for investment? We'll have data on the plus 100,000 and I guess minimum investments for 100K um, in the ecosystem. They both grew. Uh, uh, Luke, tell me about your threshold for what you, YAC. Yeah, sure. So um, I think uh, my my experience in the funding market and, and Carl kind of shares these sentiments is that a lot of individuals take on more capital than they need uh, too early, therefore uh, leading to them losing um, their kind of ownership and incentive to run the company. So we're starting um, our checks at $25,000 and that's allowing us um, to really help first time founders get a kickstart but not take too much of their company and put them under pressure for, for latter funding rounds. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, Luke, uh, rather, Carl, let me come back to you. Uh, what countries are your focus? If you look at the top four nations for VC funding, uh, the usuals, Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, Egypt. Uh, Carl, is there any particular focus as far as where these startups come from geographically? Yeah, no, I think that you named the the big company or the big countries rather that the the, the startups um, that we're seeing within the ecosystem. But with Yak, what we're really focusing on is a lot of the the smaller um, um, countries where we we see a lot of young talent coming in. We're talking about you know in the next next decade, seventy four percent of the global population um, growth will come from 18 to 23 year olds in nine African countries. And these African countries, including the ones that you mentioned, Egypt, South Africa, Kenya, um, and Nigeria, they're the ones that we'll be focusing on. Maybe some of the smaller ones, um, your, your Tanzanias, your Ugandas, um, Angolas, Ethiopia, these are all um, countries that we're focusing on. We have a pan-African um, lens. All right, uh, thank you, uh, Carl. Um, Luke, let, let me come back to you. Um, will tell me about female funding for female-led startups. If they, from this data that we're seeing, I think they only accounted for about two point four percent. So it's, it's pretty low. Are you and uh, Carl going to be, you know, focusing on assisting female-led startups at uh, YAC? Uh, yes, hugely. Um, if you look at the statistics of our, our YAC investor community that we formed over the last year. We have over um, 60 of the continent's top young investors under the age of 35. 
And uh, of that, uh, about 45% are, are female investors. And the reason for this is quite simple, is that homogeneous groups are investing in, in homogeneous um, uh, founders like themselves. And, and we believe that that needs to change. So we're supporting um, women investors um, and using uh, that um, community to drive our investments into women founders. Uh, okay, thank you. Hopefully for at, a, at, a, at a level of parity. Exactly. Thank you for that. Uh, Carl, let me come back to you. Um, the SVB uh, fallout, um, I mean, we still saw funding you know, growing in Africa, but have you seen any headwinds or any you know, fallout from, from there as far as what to look forward to ahead with funding? I mean, definitely, you've seen quite a few headwinds hit the, the African market. If we compare Q1 um, of 2023 to Q1 of 2022, globally, there was a 61% drop. If we look at the African market, it, there was only a 29% drop. And I think that when we look at all of the different markets, your USA, U um, Asia, um, LATAM, all of these other ent um, um, continents had larger drops than the African continent. And so I think that we haven't been as heavily affected as, as some of the other continents. Um, SVB is one of the reasons, but not the only one. All right. Uh, Luke, let me come back to you. Um, as far as your outlook um, for funding, funding for the African continent, can it still be self-sustained by investors within Africa? Or is there still going to be support coming from you know, the Y combinators of the world, the Western, the Western powers, basically? I think, uh, I think a bit of both. I think that um, we as Africans mustn't just want to, you know, create startups that are, are pan-African in scope, but also global in scope. We don't need to only be solving African problems, but also global problems. With that in mind, um, if the customers are, are, are happening at a, at a global level, then I think the funders should also happen at a global level to kind of create um, synchronicity between these stakeholders. Great stuff. Uh, Carl, let me come back to you. Fintech gulped a healthy majority of funding last year. According to this data, I think it was 37 or 38 percent. Some just a shade under 40 percent. Was it? Yeah, it was 37. OK, so um, is that going to be a focus for you folks at YAC or are you going to be looking at other subsectors here? Um, yeah, that 37% is, is impressive. We do see that number slowly coming down. Um, where, what we call this sector um, uh, at YAC is digital economies. Um, so in addition to digital economies, we're also looking at talent infrastructure and green economies. And so those are two larger sectors that encapsulate a few other sectors or subsectors in them that we'll be focusing um, in on at YAC. All right. Um, thank you, uh, Carl. Luke, let me come back to you. How, is the South African economy impacting, uh, you know, load shedding with uh, ESCOM and, you know, all these other economic headwinds? Is that impacting your outlook for what you guys are doing at YAC? Um, yeah, I mean, we, we certainly uh, look at look at the regional economies such as you know South Africa, Nigeria struggling um, with electricity and power resources at the moment. Um, but at the same time, we we see the opportunities there. And for instance, we are looking at uh, solar startups that can help SMEs um, kind of keep the lights on throughout the day, and and looking at other um, solutions such as selling carbon credits in, in Nigeria to earn back on on all the um, negative carbon emissions uh, emitted. All right, uh, Carl, let me come back to you. Um, with respect to, as, as far as what you're seeing in your outlook, I think we have a, a couple of minutes to go. Um, what, are you optimistic about what you see in the year ahead? In fact, I think I'll take those two final statements on the both of you, starting with you, Carl. I am optimistic. I mean, you, you have a situation where um, the, the, the global market um, has been a bit on the depressed side. So funds that have some dry powder, they have a, a, an opportunity to invest at um, um, similar to the, the market depressed valuations. So we'll see a lot of interesting deals popping up, some players that have been dominant in the space and recently raised having the opportunity to, to, to expand. Um, with Yak, we, we not only focus on the fun side of things, but we also focus on the talent training side of things, so vocational programs that we offer. And so we're really excited to be you know, taking in a cohort of 40 different um, aspiring Yak fellows that will look to, to work at some of these global um, African leading um, VCs. And so I think that we'll be bringing a lot of talent and that's something that we're extremely excited for. Great stuff. Uh, yeah, Luke, what's your outlook? 
Yeah, I mean, my outlook is is very positive. I think that you know Africa, due to its um, you know uh, difficult upbringing in the, in history, uh, had had a lot of setbacks, and I think now it's it's our turn to catch up. And I think that's what we saw last year when we were the only country or continent that didn't see a decline in in venture funding. And um, I think we can continue to leapfrog other nations and and build into a global powerhouse. Great stuff. Uh, well, congrats to you both. Wish you guys the best of luck. Luke Mostert and Carl uh, uh, Nchite, co-founders for Young Africa Catalyst. We thank you so much for your time joining us from South Africa.